Hi, Gadget HD. Um, I will try to make this quick because I'm recording this on my also janky PowerShot S45 old <laughs> camera, and the battery doesn't last very long. So, without further ado, we'll start with the display. Okay, we're looking at a Sanyo Classic CRT television. CRT! So, just old news. God. All right, and then sound system. It is actually 5.1, but actually 4.1. We got a center, we got a left, we got a right, and we have one rear. It is the Logitech Classic 5.1 system. Very beat. The bass doesn't really work anymore. I lost one of the speakers at Burning Man because I took this rig out to Burning Man to put sound on the flower art car. I had to sacrifice the speaker. It was lost. Probably got crushed. I don't know. So, it does the job, but it's tired. I can't turn it up. The bass is muddy. And it's just old. There's a VCR over there. That's right. There's a VCR. A DVD player that barely works. It's even new. And then we have the one video game representative, the Nintendo DS, my PS, my PlayStation. I admit it, I tried to chip it, I failed. It's gone. PlayStation 2. Doesn't work anymore. Alright, and now we move to my modern day media center. This janky ass looking tower with that is so at its max capacity. Look, that, that's where my sound is coming from, that's where my video is coming from. I got so many loud fans, there's no enjoying the home theater experience with that hunk just blowing out hot air at a very loud rate. Everything goes through this thing. Music, video, the whole deal. My friends come over, you know, they complain about the fan, they complain about my old CRT monitor. I need to like do work and check email. My roommate's here. She's trying to watch something. She's using my computer. I have to stop because it makes video skip. Um, it's just I need some dedicated equipment. I want to join the HD revolution. This is not cutting it. And one last thing, I have to admit I do have an old in focus office projector. Um, but look at that thing. Alright, part two. That was the file limit for my freaking camera. Do you see that power adapter attached to it? What What is going on there? What is up with that? Well, it, half the time the colors don't work on this thing. White just goes away. It's all yellow. I don't get it. It needs to be pressed down on hard right here. Just force all the time right there. So I got tired of standing up there and pushing it down so I could watch a movie. And th this is my rig. I tied an old Ericsson massive uh, AC adapter to the top. It works sometimes. Other times I have standing up there jiggling it around. It's just a big hassle. It's so loud too. The fan is just screaming loud. And I usually use this for a Renegade Drive-In Movie Theater in downtown LA, so I'm constantly disconnecting it, reconnecting it. It's not a home theater device. It's it's a joke. But, but that's broken. That's had a lot of field use right there. Look at the, this. It's the way I have to like hold it up. I need HD and this is my only route and <laughs> it's ridiculous. That thing, it's so noisy. The sound gets all noisy and I, I just, I want to put my computer in my room. I don't want to have it in the living room. Like, look at all these wires and this crap. This is a mess. <laughs> if I could get a real home theater, it would just... I could invite people over to hang out and watch movies instead of setting up my shit in an alley downtown because it's better than my living room. Please help. Thank you, Engadget HD. You guys are the bomb.